Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Meat Belfire, and today, well, I don't know if you all can see that in the distance, but, uh, let's look at it. So, I don't know if you all know this, but now there will be actual, there are actual space battles going on. Between small ships between medium ships and those are the only two ships that are here but oh it despawned how nice and the fun thing about all of the all of the ones that were just fighting is that they all have shields and again I'm sorry about the sniffling I I don't have a cold, I know that, so I'm not sick, it's just my allergies. But, yeah, all of these small little th ships have shield generators on them. Also, I did armor this one up. Not an, over not an excessive amount, but I did armor it up some. For example, all those... Same on the other side. All of these la laser turrets are actually defensive for like taking out missiles and such. And then also there's uh, th about three, uh, how many, how big? 800 millimeter? No, 300 millimeter. Dual barrel 300 millimeter above where these cargo containers are. So, really, all that's been... Oh, yeah, I also managed to capture a friendly... A ship from a friendly faction. That was relatively easy. Just had to fly onto it and place some hacking computers. Also, I did hack some small... Some more smaller ships with shield generators on them. I'm pretty sure the shield generators on this one are already gone. It looks like it is. Um, what else? I'm pretty sure we're almost ready to take this into outer space. Almost there, not quite yet. Uh. Also, I did some testing off camera. And it turns out that the, um, what's the word? That the, oh, that my flagship can actually make it out of orbit with about 100,000 uranium and 100,000 ice in it. So that was fun figuring out. Also, before the base did not have that type of shield. This was on the original base, if you all remember way back then. But I have one right here. And also there will be a spherical shield generator, so this thing is double shielded. And it also has some azimuth fusion reactors. It has six of them to power it. it it's a power-hungry machine. Power-hungry ship, I should be saying. Very power-hungry. And man, I don't feel great. Um, I'm trying to think what else has happened. Um, oh, I got pelted with a few smaller craft from the, um, what were they called? Uh, the planetary watch stations or something? I don't remember. 
But basically, very, very small, very, very weak, especially against my laser defense. <coughs> Oh man, I should prob probably take a break and focus on my health a little bit, but I'll be fine. I just can't wait till this is done. Can't wait in the slightest. And it's almost there. Also, I did make a clone of this world. I'm pretty sure we're not in the clone. A void wolf. I want to see what that looks like, to be perfectly honest. Let me look. A uh, void wolf. That looks pretty cool. That looks actually really cool. Jeez. Okay, well, that is a really cool looking one. Fast, too. Very fast, in fact. I just can't wait till this thing is done. It probably took me about... It took me most likely over six hours to fully fix this thing up. Oh, man, I could not imagine what it would be like doing it in this world. Also, I did wind up having my build and repair systems grind up the previous shell and just building this one from scratch, if you all didn't know that. And if you all were curious about what happened to the previous one, you know now. So this is basically fully my design with well, no, it's not fully my design, but credit to whoever designed the exploration ship and then had whatever tear s several massive holes through it. Basically turning it into an inoperable mess of parts. But I mean, yeah, with how it's being built, I'm happy with it. And how I built it, I'm incredibly happy with it. Mm. But yeah, we should be ready soon to take this thing to space. That scared me for a second. And why did you stop flying? Oh, wait, let me guess. Your bomb thrusters were taken out. Exactly, okay. <sighs> okay. Hmm. What to do in today's episode? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? I'm... I kind of want to go driving around some. So, let's do that. Visit some stations, see what kind of uh, missions there are, so on and so forth. Oh yeah, I haven't even to get this thing in, I just realized, to the Pernicus frigate right there. Also, if you have name suggestions for the... Uh, for my flagship, let me know. As always, I am curious to know what you guys are thinking. Uh, you know what? Let's not into space, but in a direction we haven't explored yet. We've explored that way. This way looks relatively new. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
There we go. Let's go, uh, break, no, no, <laughs> no, uh, steer override, no, isn't there, okay, I'm curious. Propulsion override, that's what I want. Uh, increase propulsion over safety detach, inertia, inertia tens tensors, propulsion, power, strength, height offset, speed limit, friction. Propulsion override increase and very bomb uh, decrease. There we go. Uh, okay. Why is that so loud? That's the right steering. Okay, this is the... Okay, so whoever made this used both right steering. Okay, good to know. Slightly a pain, but I should be able to deal with it. Come on. Okay, I think I know how to grind these down now. Oh, 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 that scared me. Okay, and as for you, let's do invert propul propulsion. Oh, man. Also, didn't I add a wheel to that one? I don't remember. Now, please do not turn... Meteor storm inbound. Okay, there we go. Wheels right. Let me go... Invert... Where is invert? Propulsion on off. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay. I am honestly curious about what exactly is over here other than just a bunch of rocks and, mo and hills and mountains well I mean either oh great I'm missing more wheels how in the world did that happen? I don't even know or don't really want to know either.
to be perfectly honest. Man, this thing speeds up fast. Okay, well, I guess let's get back now. Oh, yeah, and also... There we go, now we have wheels on all of them. Okay, steering works. Oh, there we go. I don't understand why I'm going so slow all of a sudden. Is it just simply because of the wheels that are broken? How high is the height offset? Okay. Okay, well, let's get going, I guess. And that's a bad way to get back. Oh man, the amount of dust this is kicking up is insane. And I would love to see from inside, but nope, not happening. Yeah, I don't know why exactly I'm having this problem. Okay. Whoa. That could have been bad. Oh yeah, I also looked at how much space I would need for the Big Bertha. It is insane how much space I would actually need. Because, believe it or not, Big Bertha is about maybe half, if not over half the size of my flagship. Oh yeah, and also I said I was going to look at more weapon mods, and I haven't done that yet. I should do that. Soon. Oh dear. I still cannot drive for what? Okay, there. Maybe getting another wheel will allow me. Maybe. Possibly. They aren't even spinning. Oh, dear.
what happened to their speed limit? Okay, maybe not their speed limit. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that make that's it. Okay, found it. Figured out was the, what was the problem. It was that uh, it's a propulsion override. Uh. Mm, that's too low. And yes, I know I'm fine tuning, but oh well. Whoa. Yeah, that's the right amount of bounce. Okay. And let me just turn around real fast. There we go. Made it. I almost forgot that Q did not work to turn. Okay, so what progress has been made? Uh, it doesn't look like a lot. Well, maybe another another thruster maybe <coughs> sorry a few more thrusters by the looks of it maybe a little bit more of the floor I honestly can't tell oh wait I can tell that another shield flux oh wow actually a lot of the shield that shield stuff is online now that's that's good to know I hate being sick I I really don't like it. Well, I'm not even sick. It's just allergies. Okay, well. I should go ahead and select all the incomplete... Mo Complete heavy pulse turrets. Yes. All of you. Uh, idle move it, target meteors, missiles, small ship, large ship, stations, neutrals, characters. Okay. So now, this thing should be figuratively untouchable. Should be, at least. Once all, the, all of the lasers get online. There are a lot of them, so... I do want to test this, but I don't know if I can get anyone to help me with it. Hmm. Maybe I can. Who knows? Well, uh, I'm I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up early, be just simply because I'm not feeling the hottest. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that amazing stuff, and I will see all of you. <laughs>